everybody. My name is Matt Seaglin. I'm the curator of husbandry and records here at Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. Right now I'm standing outside our Neil LaBelle food preparation room, also known as our kitchen, and I'd like to give you guys a kind of a behind the scenes tour and look inside that food preparation room and show you what goes into preparing the food for all of our animals here in the aquarium. Um, thankfully, we have one of our aquarium biologists in here. Hello. This is Leah. Hi. And she's gonna be uh, kind of showing you around um, and giving you some insight into what goes into caring for our animals here at Moat. So Leah, first, uh, what's your position? What do you do here? So I'm a coverage biologist. I cover people's systems when they're on their weekends or holidays. Awesome, you take care of a lot of animals here. Yes. And yeah, you know all the animals. Pretty much. <laughs> cool, so what is this room used for? So this is where we prep all of our feeds for our different animals. Very cool, very cool. Um, why is it important to have all of that happening in this room? Well, for one, it's important that we know where the food is, what it's been in contact with. That way the food remains clean before going to exhibits. But also it's nice to have the space so that we can make sure we prepare every diet the way it should be for the animals it's going to. Yeah, it smells very clean. That's good. It does, yeah. So um, where is the food kept in here? What do we feed? What, what, do you, what do you feed to the animals here? So we have a refrigerator on the left, freezer on the right. We have all kinds of food. Uh, we have produce, which may surprise you. We have things like carrots, beets, lettuce, kale, zucchini. Very cool. And then this is where some of the food remains that we prepped this morning, so it'll be fed out later. Then we also have krill, shrimp, gel, all kinds of stuff. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And what's over in that one? This is the freezer you said? Yeah, this is the freezer. So here we've got some of our gel powder. So it's a powder before we make it into gel. And then let's see, we've got krill. So this is a small krill. This is a large krill. Our animals have different mouth sizes. Sure. And then we also have different types of fish, including silver sides, these little guys. Nice, and this is all restaurant quality food, right? Yes, it is, and sustainably sourced. That's, that's great. Yeah. And you wouldn't eat any of this, would you? It doesn't appeal to me. Sometimes the <laughs> lettuce and the broccoli looks good, but we could. Sure, absolutely. So how, how much do these animals eat, or how often do we feed them? So that varies a lot, depending on what animals we're talking about. Some get fed three times a day, like jellyfish. Sure. They're one of our hungriest creatures that we have. Absolutely. And then we have some animals that only eat a couple times a week, like scorpionfish, lionfish, and toadfish. And the sharks, if you want to watch your animals eat, you can come see our shark feed, right? Yes, so that happens three days a week, and I think right now we're live casting one of those. Very nice. On Wednesdays. Yeah, 10.30 in the morning on Wednesdays, and you can see that live. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. So, um, how do you feed them? I know the, tar the sharks are target fed. Is every animal target fed? Not every animal is. Sometimes we do what's called a broadcast feed or a scatter feed. Okay. Basically, that's like a buffet. You let all the food go out into the exhibit in the water. All the animals can eat at once. But target training allows us to monitor what every animal eats and how much or how much they're eating, making sure they eat the right amount. That's and awesome. we can uh, track trends in their diet. And cool. Yeah. So how do you know what an animal wants to eat? They'll let you know. They'll let you know? <laughs> so for one, we do make sure that anything we offer our animals is in their natural diet. It's safe for them, that approves, stuff like that. But then they have their preferences, like us, and they'll let you know if they don't want it. They won't taste it or they'll spit it out. Do the animals get any supplements, any vitamins or anything? Yeah, some of them do. Okay. Um, not all of them need it, but we do have vitamin C capsules and multivitamin tablets. So here's an example of oh, <laughs> the tablets here. Those are for our large sharks. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And then we've got our vitamin C capsules. So when we give these to our sharks, we actually stuff them into the pieces of fish that we offer. Oh, that's great. And then we also have some liquid vitamins just in case our smaller animals need supplements as well. Perfect. I notice there's a lot of writing on these cabinets. What's that used for? Yeah, so every biologist has their own little station, and if we are going to be on vacation or need someone to do something for us, we'll write down notes or instructions. Oh, so of it's kind of a message center. Yes, basically. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So it is, this room, um, like I said, smells clean in here. Do, we, do you have to clean it? Yes. So yeah. after a biologist preps their food, they wipe down their workstation. That happens all throughout the day. And then at the end of every day, we disinfect disinfect the fridge, freezer, sinks, counters, and floors. Oh, that's great. I wonder why it smells so clean in here. Yes, I wish my kitchen was this clean. <laughs> Mine too, right? <laughs> so what is your favorite animal to feed? We'll end with that question. That's, that's hard. I have many favorites. <laughs> 
for different reasons. Sure. Um, pretty much any time I target feed an animal, I like that because you get to know the animal a lot more intimately and you have to kind of work with them. Like with the sharks, you have to flow with them and the pattern they're going. Sure. And that's neat to get that connection. Sure, so fish have personalities then, right? Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for all the information. I know you got to go feed some more animals right yeah. now and take care of some stuff. But uh, thank you very much. You're welcome.